today is December 6th, which is my due date. Um, I don't really think baby's coming today. I have had no contractions basically over the last two days. It got really, really quiet. Um, I'm someone who has a lot of Braxton Hicks leading up to my due date. It's very common for me to have them like constantly and the last two days have been almost completely silent. So my plan for today is just to <laughs> stay busy and basically try to forget it's my due date because I just don't think baby's coming today. Of course, it's only 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> a lot could happen between now and the end of the day, but I'm not very um, <laughs> hopeful that anything's gonna happen today. So my plan for today is basically just to start the day off, get in the shower and keep my mind busy and maybe take a nap this afternoon in case something starts to kick off. Uh, tonight because usually that's when I go into labor is in the middle of the night or very wee early morning hours so we'll see what happens today but so far I'm not very hopeful. I'm excited to figure out what you are. Can I meet you today please? Or soon? I just got out of my appointment with my midwife for my 40 week Appointment, I'm actually 40 weeks in one day, so <laughs> two days has come and gone. Uh, I ran over to Walmart quick to get a new exercise ball to bounce on because basically what my midwife told me is that um, I am currently sitting at almost six centimeters dilated, <laughs> but the only reason I am not currently in labor is because the baby is not putting enough pressure with its head into my cervix. So baby is head down baby's in the right position it's just not um really firm against my cervix the way it needs to be to induce labor so basically what she told me to do is to go home and <laughs> bounce on a ball and um try to encourage baby to put a lot of pressure down and um get things moving so i had to run over to walmart quick and i did that picked up my exercise ball and I also picked up two boxes of these Christmas trees because I've been looking for them everywhere and I haven't been able to find them so now I'm gonna go home <laughs> and have my husband blow up this ball for me and we're gonna get to bouncing and hopefully induce something naturally if nothing else she did schedule me an induction date um, a couple days from now and uh, will be induced before I hit 41 weeks because she doesn't want me going past 41 weeks so hopefully we can do this and get it going on my own and I won't have to go through like Pitocin or anything so we're gonna try that she did say um, the plan is for my induction is to just break my water and see if that is enough to get contractions going and things like that um, naturally um, because I have had Pitocin before my first pregnancy I was induced um, I preeclampsia so I had to be induced I didn't really have much of an option there and my I did not like the contractions I had in the Pitocin they were so forceful um, because that's really what you're doing is forcing your body into labor in, in my my personal opinion not professional uh, and I did not enjoy it one bit it was my hardest labor by far and my most intense labor by far so if I can avoid the Pitocin, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go home and do all the things she recommended to do. She basically said that it's not really up to me at this point, it's up to the baby. So the only thing I can do is try to keep my hips open, my pelvis open, and encourage baby to kind of finish putting enough pressure there to get things going. And if nothing else, she'll see me in a couple days for our scheduled induction. So that's my plan this weekend, it's Wednesday. <laughs> and we're just gonna spend the next couple of days bouncing. So let's go home and do that. <laughs> of the eighth, which means I'm 40 weeks in two days today. <laughs> um, it's a little before seven, so I didn't feel anything at all last night after the membrane sweep. Um, I had a couple contractions. I think we were talking about that. Um, I had like one or two moments where I thought I felt baby like a lot lower than I had previously, but um, now in hindsight, I think it was more just like some lightning crotch that, that I was experiencing. Um, nothing that lasted and, um, I didn't feel anything at all last night, like went to bed fine, 
slept fine and woke up fine. So um, we're gonna see what happens today. I'm actually hoping that nothing happens today because my husband travels for work um, and he's working like an hour and oh, hour and okay. a half away from home today. So if anything were to happen, it would take him a long time to um, get here. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping that everything lays low today and We'll see what happens, made my to-do list for the day, all the tasks I wanna get done today just to keep myself busy, um, but also just to help me feel a little bit more settled, I suppose, and got some videos I wanna film today and some Instagram reels, I guess, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, um, the link's down in the description box. I post different content over on Instagram. It's um, not like I double dip where I post the same video or the same thing on Instagram and YouTube. So if you want more content just that's diverse, um, it's more about like gardening and chickens and um, home cooked meals and breads and rolls and stuff. <laughs> um, all things that I talk about here, just you know, a little bit more over there. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and follow me there. But yeah, just kind of keeping myself busy and trying to have like some footage on my phone. Um, so that way after I have the baby in the hospital and I'm like bored out of my mind uh, I have things that I can like edit on my phone or keep me kind of occupied while we're there So that's kind of what my plan is for today is to get some content on my phone or like some videos on my phone That I can make into different reels or different YouTube shorts and things like that just to keep me busy while I'm in the hospital after having the baby so That's where we're at this morning a whole lot of a whole lot of nothing so far but like i said and like i keep saying a lot can happen between now and even yeah. a couple hours from now so we will see what happens. it is still the eighth i am starting well i should shouldn't say starting it's 3 40 at this point but starting at noon i started to have um some more random contractions nothing consistent nothing anything but i don't know we're gonna see what happens here, it's getting to the point where um, my son is still napping. He's finishing off his nap. My girls are be going to be getting off the bus here in a minute. I'm making myself a cup of hot chocolate. And um, I just took the entire nap that my son takes and did nothing. Like I fixed my nails and repainted these. And I sat on the couch and rested and did did nothing and it felt really really good i like to try to get all my housework done in the mornings that way by the time um, i get like my afternoon kid on the bus and it's just me and colt um, i can really just focus on him and like we eat lunch together and we play and spend a lot of time with him we snuggled on the couch a little bit this afternoon before he took his nap we were watching paw patrol and he actually almost fell asleep on me i was like rubbing his head and so just a lot of resting this afternoon which felt really really nice so that's all that's all we did that's all i did i did prep some pizza dough that i've got going here so we're gonna make pizzas tonight just something super easy as well and really minimal cleanup so i don't know figured out just update a little bit of contractions a little bit of this a little bit of that but um nothing super significant so i really don't know if the membrane sweep worked or not um just because i'm not feeling anything um major i guess so we'll see what happens you guys are gonna see some real life behind me that's just the way it is today but i wanted to hop on and talk give a little bit of an update how i'm feeling so last night or really early this morning i woke up at like 2 a.m and lost the biggest part of my mucus plug that i've lost thus far um i've been slowly losing it over the course of the week um, but last night was definitely the biggest chunk I've lost like in one go. So uh, that was at 2 a.m. and I laid in bed until like 4.45, could not fall back asleep. Just the like insomnia really hit me last night and I think anxiety is starting to set in a little bit which is a little <laughs> overwhelming to have happen at this point. I think at this point my body is just really, really exhausted. And just through the whole pregnancy process, I think my body's kind of like reaching its limit. Um, my skin is so stretched out and it just itches constantly because there's no 
I don't know, there's no give to it anymore. It's, <laughs> it, it just hurts a lot. I'm very uncomfortable. Um, I've gained a ton of weight this pregnancy, a lot more than I have with my other pregnancies. Um, but that would make a lot of sense because I've never gone this far with any of my other pregnancies either. Um, so it's kind of just like waiting for the baby, I guess. I'm having a lot of anxiety about it. Like when the baby is going to come, if the baby is going to come. I'm just feeling really overwhelmed at this point, but it's Friday. I'm hoping that my husband gets like off of work early tonight. Sometimes that happens for him on Fridays and that he'll be home earlier. I think just having him here will bring me a lot of comfort. Just being with him seems to help calm a lot of the anxieties that I'm feeling. I think it's because I'm, I'm not alone. Like he's actually here and um, I, I'll just feel better when he's home I think. I think I'm also having a lot of anxiety knowing that I'm already so dilated. Uh, and the fact that my midwife mentioned like, hey, please don't have this baby in the car. Um, it's an hour drive from our house to the hospital. I don't know if I've mentioned that. We live really rurally, so it, it takes a minute to get there. And the fact that my husband's working an hour and a half um, away from home on top of that one hour drive to the hospital is making me very nervous. Um, like my husband asked me this morning, do you want me to stay home today? Do you want me to go to work? Like, what do you want to do? And I told him, well, you know, it's, it's really up to you and what you want to do. He looked at me and he went, no, it's up to you and what you want me to do. So I just told him to go to work and that if I felt that I needed him, I would call him. So I've been very tempted this morning to call him and just ask him to come home just because I'm having so much anxiety but it's just anxiety and I know that, so I'm trying to like just breathe through it and work through it. <laughs> Two of my kids are home today because it's Friday. Um, my like kindergartner doesn't have school on Fridays, so I'm making our favorite lunch, which is just grilled cheese and tomato soup. We're gonna eat it with carrots and I'm just very slowly doing nothing today. I've put away um, a couple loads of laundry, but I'm sitting a lot in between and resting a lot. My body is really telling me that it needs rest. So I'm just trying to listen to that and not really do anything today. Uh, which was not what I was planning on doing today. I was planning on waking up this morning and just spending all day in the kitchen making Christmas cookies and filming and just distracting myself. But my body's telling me something different, so I'm going to listen to that and just do nothing today. I feel like I'm ranting a lot, but I also think that it's kind of important to talk about having some anxieties, even though this is my fourth pregnancy, this is my fourth baby, that like I can still be anxious, I can still experience new things. Like I've never gone overdue, this is all new to me, and I think that's also why I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. Um, but I think the main reason is just the fact that my body is so, like, it, it feels very overworked. And um, I'm just very tired. But I think once I make it through today, I will feel a lot better. Because it will be the weekend. And my husband will be home. We're, like, he will be right here with me if anything were to happen. And the fact that... Um, my family members will all be around and I'll be home and I know that I can have my sister-in-law here in like 10 minutes or less if anything were to happen throughout the weekend. And then if nothing happens this weekend, it doesn't matter because 9 a.m. on Monday is um, when we have to be at the hospital for the induction. So I will literally just put my oldest kid on the bus and me and my husband will go to the hospital and we'll be having the baby. So. Like I just have to make it through the rest of the t rest of the day today. It is already 11:20, so headed into the weekend, I decided that I was gonna just wake up and be in a great mood. We were gonna hang out. We were gonna do all the things that I wanted to do, that the kids wanted to do, and we were just going to enjoy it. So our weekend consisted of baking cookies and gingerbread houses and bouncing on the ball. 
I watched so much History Channel. I did all the things just to relax and enjoy the weekend. And then, of course, we woke up Monday morning and headed into the hospital to start our induction at 9 a.m. 